In the FRCS exam, you may be faced with a scenario of elbow instability, and this can come up in your trauma viva or your basic sciences viva. So beyond talking about the static and dynamic stabilizers of your elbow and Hori's uh, cycle of failure, um, you can draw and talk about Sean O'Driscoll's uh, elbow fortress of stability. So his fortress is really based upon uh, three main primary stabilizers and within it three secondary stabilizers. So your three primary stabilizers uh, include your ulnohumeral articulation and down here you have your anterior band of your medial ulnar collateral ligament uh, which attaches from your medial epicondyle to your sublime tubercle. And over here, you have your uh, lateral ulnar collateral ligament, which attaches from your lateral epicondyle to your supinator crest. Within the secondary stabilizers, or within the fortress, um, you have your radio capitella articulation. Over here, uh, on the medial side, you have your uh, common flexor origin or your flexor pronator mass and over here you have your common extensor origin and you can you can kind of join up the, the walls of your fortress um, like this and the the walls uh, joining up represents uh, your uh, your elbow capsule so to to apply this fortress, uh, O'Driscoll uh, originally uh, said that an elbow with its three primary constraints, i.e. your ulnar humeral joint, anterior band of your medial ulnar collateral ligament and your LUCL, if three of those are intact, your elbow will be stable. However, if your coronoid process is fractured or, or lost, your radial head in your radiocapitella joint becomes a critical stabilizer. And uh, he states that your radial head must not be removed uh, when you have a dislocated elbow associated with a coronoid fracture, unless you can reliably fix the coronoid process or the ligaments around it.